All right, good evening, everyone. Three thumbs up is here. Let's go. Always the first one in these days, it seems, eh? Howdy, my friend. Atlantic Provinces. So, starting a few minutes late today, 2BC has a huge stream going with over 3,000 people in it. And first and foremost, I'm a huge fan of franchise mode, so... I think all of us could uh, could be uh, relieved of duty there for for about 10 minutes just to catch that. It's still going right now. It's just about done. But I'd encourage you to keep that open on a separate, separate window if you have the ability to do so. Either way, we're going to get started here because we still have some team building to do before we can get the simulation going. If you're new to the series, whether you're watching it here on Twitch or on the uh, YouTube channel, of course. Thank you, a servers are here. Very happy to see him again. And, uh, yeah, of course, the Freddy stream, Freddy Anderson. So if you're new to this series, as I was saying, we are going through a franchise mode series here in NHL 21, one and done seasons, trying to see which province has the most success. We did the province of Quebec. We made it to game seven of round one before we lost. We did the province of Alberta. We didn't even make it close to the, uh, kind of close, but we didn't make the playoffs. And now, because there aren't enough players to do just Nova Scotia or just, uh, Prince Edward Island. We're going to bunch all four Atlantic provinces together, the three Maritimes plus Newfoundland and Labrador, and we're going to see what we can do. There, We're going to see that there are some really good players at the top, but it starts to get thin pretty fast, so I don't know how successful this team's going to be, but we're going to try our best. The Fredericton Salmon for tonight. Dankier servers are here, of course. As you may see, I've, I've started to do some roster editing. Dustin Bufflin, for example, he's down to from an 87 to an 85. I'll probably put him even lower. But when we do start our franchise mode series in a couple of weeks, which is looking to be like it'll be the Minnesota Wild, we're going to have updated rosters as much as possible. Everyone's contracts. Whenever a contract happens in real life, I update it here in the game because I don't know when the next roster update is going to be coming from EA. So let me get out my list here. I did a little preliminary look at what kind of players we're looking at. And right off the bat, let's get all the elite... Um, all the elite superstars in here right off the bat. So, of course, from the Atlantic provinces, the most popular player, the biggest one that everyone knows, of course, Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby, will be our pillar here on the Salmon. And on his left wing, over on the Boston Bruins, will be none other than the Tongue himself, Brad Marchand. Just call him the Tongue. And after that, we have Nate McKinnon, who could play center or wing. Uh, yeah, there is Jake Allen, yeah, and Philip Myers, Philippe Myers, yeah, very true, we're gonna get to those guys. Uh, next, over on the Tampa Bay Lightning, we have Alex Kalorn, we gotta go through all the NHLers first, not very many of them, and then we'll start going into the AHL and maybe even the juniors. Not, thanks Wes, I just came up with it. <laughs> Alex Kalorn, next over on Winnipeg, we have Logan Shaw, if he's here, unless he's on, uh... Unless he's in Manitoba, or he could be going, he could be down in free agency. Yeah, he's probably down in free agency. Oh yeah, Jay Berry, I know what you're talking about. All right, so next in the NHL, I think we're gonna start moving to the, the AHL very soon. But next in the NHL, on the Colorado Avalanche, our pillar on defense will be Ryan Graves. There he is. And then next on the Islanders, we have Noah Dobson. Not sure if he's in the NHL, though. Uh, I think I saw him. Dobson. There he is. Noah Dobson. Over on the... Fl Actually, on the Canadians, I'll throw in Jake Allen. Philip Myers. Uh, chat's about to start going crazy, eh? All right, Jay Birdie, I'm ready. Philip Myers. There he is. Logan Shaw. Yeah, he's on Manitoba. Perfect. I think that's it for the NHL. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that's it for the NHL. There they are. So now to the AHL. On the Manitoba Moose, we have a couple of players. There is Logan Shaw. Oh, is he not even here? Luke Green is here. Luke Green is from the Atlantic. I can't tell you which one they're all from. I bunched all four of them together and made a big list. But all these guys are either from Newfoundland, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia. Line A greater than Ovi. Don't think that's going to happen, Jay Birdie. You got to wait till there's really a lot of people in here and you get them furious. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any Logan Shy. There's Logan Stanley. Logan Shaw probably went to free agency. All right, next on my list here, I have Matthew Highmore on the Blackhawks. I'm not sure if he's on the Blackhawks or if he's on their AHL affiliate. Let's check it out here. 
Matthew Highmore. Mm, don't see him. Yeah, AHL it is. Logan Shaw is on Iowa. Oh, yeah, the Iowa Wild. Is he? Iowa Wild. Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Okay, where are the Hawks farm team... Are the Ice Hogs? No, that's uh, f the Florida Panthers. Uh, Chicago Wolves? No, isn't that the Blues? They've been changing their teams around a lot recently. Yeah, oh no, that's uh, now it's the the, la, 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 the Hurricanes. Um, Admirals are the Predators. Yeah, where's the Hawks? Springfield. Or is that Calgary? No. I don't even know who Springfield is. Uh, I guess that's the, the Blues. Anybody know uh, the Hawks farm team? I'm uh, at a loss for words here. I'm shocked. can't remember. While I'm at it, though, Bakersfield. Actually, on uh, the... Where are they? Colorado Eagles. Shane Bauer. Shane Bowers. No, he's probably... Oh, there he is. Shane Bowers. Shaw is either on Ottawa or free agency. Oh, yeah? Okay. Let's check it out. Ooh, 2BC just got scored on there. Yikes. Logan Brown. Oh, there he is. Logan Shaw. Thank you very much. Danky A. Coming in to help out for once. Much appreciated. Uh, on Vancouver, there's Zach McEwen. Is he in the AHL or the NHL? This is not going to be a very good team, but who knows? Zach McEwen, there he is. Uh, Ross Johnston over on the Islanders. Again, I'm not sure if he's in the NHL or the AHL. There he is, an enforcer. Oh, you're thinking of Mason Shaw, I understand. Uh, Clark Bishop on the Hurricanes or the Checkers? Clark Bishop. Uh, no, I think he's down there. Yeah, okay. Back to the AHL. Charlotte Checkers. Man, a lot of these guys are probably in free agency. That's the problem. Oh, Smallman is one of them, right? Hold on, looking at my list here. Yeah, Spencer Smallman. Yeah, that's him. There he is. Checkers is the Hurricanes affiliate. I was looking for Clark Bishop. Oh yeah, AHL games are on TV. Just got to get the right uh, location. Uh, next up, Liam O'Brien on the Hershey Bears. Liam O'Brien. Matt Molson's there. Throwback. Uh, there he is. Another grinder. Ooh, this is a pretty grindy team we're getting getting here. Uh, Gregor McLeod McLeod over on the Griffins. Oh, no, they're not. Don't they have the Checkers players, though? Oh, no, I guess they don't, eh? But I just found that guy, didn't I? I found uh, Spencer's mom. Oh, because I'm... Yeah, I figured it out now. It's because I'm looking at... Um... I was looking at guys in the NHL who may be in the AHL and the guys who are guaranteed in the AHL. So Smallman was guaranteed in the AHL. Clark Bishop's either in the NHL or the AHL. What's the Hurricanes farm team now? I just saw it a second ago. The team that Nedjokovic is on. Uh, Ice Hogs? No. Uh, man, this is breaking my head. Clark Bishop's on the Chicago Wolves. Great. Thanks a lot, Danky. Eh? There he is. Clark Bishop. Okay, Heim we're still looking for Matthew Highmore. What's the Blackhawks farm team? That's what we want to figure out. Where is Matthew Highmore? Grand Rapids is Detroit. Hartford is... Is it the Ice Hogs? Ice Hogs. Ice Hogs. Rockford Ice Hogs. There he is, Highmore. Sheesh, what would I, where would I be without you, man? Where would I be without you? Okay, what else do we have? Ross Johnson, Clark Bishop, Shane Bowers, Liam O'Brien. Did we get Liam O'Brien on Hershey? 
Uh, did I get Liam O'Brien? Yeah, I did get Liam O'Brien. Gregor McCloyd over on the Griffins I had to look for. Grand Rapids Griffin, Griffins. Looking for Gregor McLeod, McCloyd, whatever you want to call him. Uh, there he is. Man, these are some... <laughs> we're really scraping the absolute bottom of the barrel here. Michael O'Leary over on Hartford. Yeah, I don't know how this stream's going to go, guys. We have to be absolutely carried by McKinnon and Crosby. Is he not here, Michael O'Leary? Hey, Tic Tac. Welcome. I'm watching the Hawks here on the side as well. The Hawks uh, Leafs game here with 2BC. Yeah, I don't see him. No Michael O'Leary. Brad Malone over on the Condors. Franchise mode, make a tab on Discord for assistant GMs. Oh yeah, definitely. I do have that ready to go. It's just locked since we don't have anything, uh, any series going at the moment. But it is ready to go. Brad Malone. Zach O'Brien over on the Marlies. Don't spoil. Oh, thanks, Tick. Hey, that's really... I, ap I appreciate that very much. Very thoughtful. Thanks, man. We're going to go... We're going to have this team ready in no time. Zach O'Brien. Zach O'Brien. Some of these guys, like we said a hundred times now, some of them are in free agency for sure. Uh, Nathan Noel on the Ice Hogs, if he's there. Noel. Nathan Noel... Don't see him. No, he's not there. Nicolas Baudin. Uh, Josh Curry on the Condors. Yeah, we did get Ryan Graves. Josh Curry over on the Condors. Curry, Curry, Curry. Uh, I don't see him. So I really, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest, Wes, if this team did really well. I would not be surprised with the way things go. It wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world for that to happen. Okay, next is going to be Alex Galan. Is he here? There's two Galans on, uh, that we're going to get on this team if they're here. Alex Galan, another grinder. And then his brother, Brett Galan, over on Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland, Galan, Galan, Galan. Uh, if he's here, there he is. They're both grinders. They're both grinders. Fantastic. Graves, Dobson, Myers, Green, we all got... Uh, Jordan Murray over on the Belleville Senators. Uh, we have one goalie at the moment. We're going to have to go. We're gonna have to dip into the juniors to get goalies because there's none in the NHL or the AHL. Corey, hey, welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it tonight. Jordan Murray. Jordan Murray. Is he here? He is not. So that means, last but not least, Ryan McKinnon. Not Nathan McKinnon. Ryan McKinnon over on Bridgeport if he's here. Ryan McKinnon. Don't see him. Yeah, that's true. Did You did pre predict uh, Carter Hart winning the Vezina. What do you predict tonight, Wes? You don't have to tell me yet, but I want to hear your prediction eventually. All right, and that's it for any player that we're going to get on this team from the NHL or the AHL. We have enough forwards, it seems like. We need at least like three more defensemen's, defensemen and a couple goalies as well. James Reimer won the Vezina in three, three thumbs as franchise mode. Not even surprised, man. Okay, let me open up my tabs here. I have a bunch of junior hockey tabs ready to go for any... I, was, I knew this might happen. Okay, for goalies. Uh, it seems like the best goalie is either Matthew Welsh or Colton Ellis. Uh, hold on, we'll look at their overalls. Let's go to the QMJHL. Tommy Hain is here? Oh, wow. What a mood booster. Tommy Hain. If you guys saw that, in, that uh, Among Us video that I posted on the channel... You know Tommy Hain, an absolute legend. Thank you for dropping by, Tommy. The people love you. QMJHL. And we're looking for the Charlottetown Islanders. There he is. And here he is, Welsh. 64 overall. We'll see if we can find anyone better. Uh, next is Colton Ells. Oh, sorry, Ellis. He's, oh, he's also on the Islanders. Oh, no, that was that's this season. Last year, he was on Ramuski. Um, are these lineups updated? Any uh, uh, Gooby? No. Colton? No, he's probably on Ramuski. Ramuski, Ramuski, Ramuski. And uh, there he is, Ellis. He's 66 overall. All right, a little bit better. Oh, yeah, Jay, yeah we played Jay, uh, Jay Birdie and Wes and I. We played, and me, we played. No, and I. Let me look here. 
We played a game of Among Us the other night. Off the channel. Okay, those are the best goalies we're going to find from Nova Scotia. In New Brunswick, there's Daniel Moody on the Drakkar. Uh, Moody. I don't think he's going to be good enough. No, 55 overall? No. Okay, we got our three goalies. That's good enough. Now we just need more defensemen. That is our big issue. Defense. Valaroon is here? Let's go. And Boomba? Okay, now we're going to have a party. Now the stream is just getting started. Glad to have you all in here. Thank you for coming. All right. Let me see what we can find here. How are you find? Oh, I'm looking on... Let me tell you the site that this is. It is quanthockey.com. It lists all players by their national, well, their, whether their state or their province, etc. So I'm doing, I'm looking at a, have a bunch of different tabs open. <laughs> this is, this is uh, yeah, it's just the defense we need. So let me look at mm, defense. 2019-2020. Okay, the best is Lucas Cormier. Quantaki, yeah, that's exactly it. Lucas Cormier, here he is. 60 overall. <laughs> Welcome to the team. We got Adam McCormick on the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. No, I think, you know, I have, I have a decent hockey knowledge for, especially even for juniors, but no, I, I'm not going to even try to take credit for that in the slightest. No way. <laughs> Adam McCormick, 60 overall. <laughs> Jackson Bellamy on the Sherbrooke Phoenix. There's a few other people. Who are NHL. I'm just looking at New Brunswick right now. I, when I go to Nova Scotia, I think there's like Jared McIsaac, Sherbrooke Phoenix, uh, Jackson Bellamy, Jackson Bellamy. There he is. 58 overall. He's not going to make the team. Okay, that was New Brunswick. Now we're going to go look at Nova Scotia. There are some nice names here. Where's Jared McIsaac? Is he on the Red Wings or is he on their farm team? Probably their farm team. Uh, grand no heart no ah oh, what are all these all these teams are getting bounced around my head springfield no uh henderson hartford no griffins there we go griffins are they in? Are any in the NHL? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got uh, McKinnon. Look at here's the top of the list down here. Crosby, Marshall, McKinnon, Kaloran, Graves, Dobson, Allen, etc. Jared McIsaac, is he in here? No. Where am I gonna find Jared? Ma now I gotta do some searching on Jared McIsaac. But either way, hold on. We got Justin Barron, who should be on the Halifax Moosehead, I think. Here he is. I'm surprised to see that there's no player in the ECHL from the Maritimes. Uh, may oh, maybe there is. I didn't look at the ECHL just yet. Brain scratcher, true or false? The original owner of the Colorado Rockies wanted to change their name to Colorado Rocky Mountain. Oh yeah, they did. That's why the, that's why the um, the logo is a mountain originally in the background of the Avalanche. There's Justin Barron. Jared is in the. S oh, is he? Well, I know he is. He's being loaned there. He's being loaned there, but is he actually listed as that in the game? Let me look this up here. Jared McIsaac. He should be maybe in the 70s even. Uh, Moncton Wildcats if he's in the queue. Uh, yeah, here, there you go. 68 overall. There we go. All right, we'll take it. Jared McIsaac. He is from Truro, Nova Scotia. Oh, there, yeah, there's a lot of players loaned out. Who else can we find here? Is he in Europe? Well, I, he's here on Moncton, so I'm not sure how that all works. Okay, that was Nova Scotia. Who else can we get here? 
You said Jarrett Baker. Did we find Jarrett Baker on the... Yeah, we did get him off the Eagles. Or no, I, I'm not sure. That's where... Oh, really? Oh, that's funny, Wes. Justin Barron's going to be your best friend then. Oh, sorry. Jared McIsaac can be your best friend in this uh, in today's episode. Charlottetown Islanders for Noah something. There he is. 59 overall. Man, I'll put him on the team. He's not going to make it. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. We have 10 defensemen. Most of them are pretty garbage, to be honest. Nova Scotia. I'm going to look at Newfoundland. Anybody? Hey, Michael. Welcome in. If only Kyle would. He's from Ontario, I believe. If only. No one good from Newfoundland. Uh, New Brunswick, we already did. Prince Edward Island, any defensemen? Uh, Jordan Spence. Jordan Spence over on the Moncton Wildcats. Uh, Spence, Spence, there he is. Okay, 61. He could, he, he could make the team, maybe, at times. <laughs> okay, so I think I'll go ahead and call it there. Unless anybody else knows of any other players that I'm missing out on. <laughs> Kyle Wood, born in Ontario, raised in our hearts. The king of Honolulu. Let me just look at... I know, because maybe in the playoffs... I'm just, I just got to make sure I do my due diligence here. Maybe in the playoffs they had some players get called down. Mm, no, nah, I think we're good. Just imagine a 2BC raid. That would be insane. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close all these thousands of tabs on my computer here. I think we have everyone we need. Okay, we're good to go. Huh, here's the team. We'll see what we can do with it. We'll figure that out later. Here is the logo, the Fredericton Islanders. That's our logo. Main color is blue pretty much for the Atlantic provinces, the water. Uh, I know the last couple franchises have always also been blue, but that's just coincidence with Alberta and Quebec. When we go to Saskatchewan, for example, it's going to be green. Uh, what else can I tell you? The team uniform, of course. I hope he gets signed, yeah. Very reminiscent of last week's uniform, to be honest. Changed up a little bit with like the pants and the gloves more blue. The pants more yellow, the gloves more blue. It's nothing wild. You know, we're not here for uh, a fashion degree. We're just here to make the team. Fredericton Salmon. Here's the mascot. Flipper the shark. He's the only uh, aquatic animal that of all the, the choices. So there we go. Fredericton Salmon. Nice and quick. Not the greatest team, but we'll see what we can do. 74 overall. Yikes. We have Alberta here. Fredericton Salmon. I created Seattle just just to, have to put it into simulations if I ever wanted to. Um, I lost Quebec for some reason, so I'm going to have to recreate Quebec. Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out. Anyways, franchise mode. Now, who... The big question is, what team are we replacing in tonight's simulation? Let me go ahead and... Uh, oh, no. I didn't want to click continue. I didn't want to do that. But I got to tell you guys, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, there's an upload going up on the channel. One of my favorite videos ever. It was a blast. I filmed it all yesterday. I edited it all this morning. And it's coming out tomorrow afternoon. I am very excited for it. It is going to be a good one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, go ahead and take off this buffalo save that I was doing an experiment with. We still have the Alberta sim here haunting us after what happened last week. Delete that. Montreal Canadiens. Uh, it's not that I don't want to take out the Canadiens. That I'd rather take out like a really bad team. So either the Kings or the, or the, or the Senators. Okay classic no one cares about ottawa to be honest ottawa also makes sense because um it's in the same division i'm just trying to... oh did you cory let me see if i can get you in here hold on it, you it, all you gotta do is react to the message in the rules and then it's you know i don't even it, i'm not gonna say that it should let you in because it's so glitched out now that i don't think it does at all so here we go. Custom teams. Fredericton Salmon. We're based in in New, uh, New Brunswick. 
you know, there's a you know the St. John's Sea Dogs, the the, the Charlottetown have their teams as well. Fredericton, you know what I said? Let's give some love to to British Columbia. Our arena is named the Stream. That's where the salmon swim, and let's do it. Um, what's the input on Coyotes and Mitchell Miller? Definitely the right decision. No question there. It said, but it doesn't say remember. Okay, I will get you in there right now, Corey. Don't you worry about a thing. Corey, Corey, Corey. You want to just send a message, Corey, at the help desk channel, and then I will be able to click on your name and just add you quickly. That would be helpful. Yo, it's always getting into trouble. New Brunswick. <laughs> New Brunswick, the homeland of Danky A servers? Oh boy, really, eh? It's going to be a good day today then. Corey Coconut, there you are. Add the member role. Perfect, you're in. Basically, the rules is just to keep people from being degenerates. You know, just the basic rule. Keep it clean, be friendly. Uh, Atlantic Division. Uh, yeah, makes sense to me. Let's do it. Okay, owner mode off, salary cap on. Uh, you know what, salary cap... Uh, no, we, we've always done salary cap off, so I might as well keep it off. Did you guys use Discord voice chat? No, we didn't, but we could. We didn't yesterday, but we definitely could. Head coach edits lines, no. Player morale, no. CPU trades, ah, why not? Fog of war, off. Auto staff management, no, because I have to uh, find a, a better coach. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'm yeah, definitely down to try it. Oh, Tornado Panda's in here? Let's go. Now the party's getting going. It started a few a few people ago. Now it's really turning into something. My favorite panda. Send data to credit card, and then he will approve the Discord. Yep, that is exactly it. Auto scouting, yes. Waivers on. Trade difficulty hard. I don't think we're going to make any trades, though. Salary cap off. Difficulty superstar doesn't really change much. Uh, period injuries on. Okay. Just change the sliders here. Uh, no, you guys can move about the Discord. You can move out of the help desk chat and go to the general. I'll link that for you right here. General. There you go. That's where everybody talks. Injuries, we'll put them down to 15. We don't want too many injuries, especially tonight with a team that's very uh, questionable, to say the least. Okay. Good. So we'll start the career. Hopefully the system, we can use chemistry to really uh, give ourselves an advantage. I don't know what to say. We have to get plus threes and fives wherever we can go. All right, general, perfect. Just make sure all is good here. Oh, yeah, we got quite the party tonight. We got a good little group going. Kyle Wood from McKinnon, I wish. Um, I think I missed a message, sorry. Perfect. Okay. Huh. Let's set up what we think the lines will be. And then we will make what the lines um, will make uh, the lines according to the chemistry. First, I got to make sure there's no RFAs here. Last week we had a big issue with missing players because of RFAs. Okay, no RFAs, thank goodness. First thing we got to do is go to the roster moves for sure. Here we go, roster moves. Everyone's got to love the Kyle Wood fans in here. Okay, forwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Walter, I haven't seen him. Have not seen Walter yet tonight. Uh, one, two, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, these guys are not us. Bodin, Bishop. Here, Bishop is, in, is with us. O'Brien is with us. Make sure we can't call up anyone who's not actually from the Atlantic provinces. We'll send down McLeod, McLeod. Uh, actually, okay, because we, oh, it's because we have too many defense. Hold on, hold on. 
in the NHL. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, hold on, this is all messed up. Hold on a second. This is all messed up. Let's try this again. Roster moves. Goalies, we have Allen and Ellis. Welsh, can we send Welsh down? Does he go to the AHL or does he go to juniors? He should go to the AHL, hopefully. Uh, no, he just disappeared. <laughs> Great. Oh, no, wait. He's right there. Okay, go. Oof. <laughs> I was blind for a second. Olofsson sign. Yeah, that's a great deal for Victor Olofsson. That is a great deal for Victor Olofsson. Okay, now we can now I can focus. The goalies were throwing me off. Spence is not. Yeah, I think Ellis should be making the roster for sure. I definitely agree with that. At least a healthy scratch. Spence could probably come up. One, two, three, four, five, six. McCormick can go down. Spence will be the seventh defenseman here. I don't think we have any other defensemen who are better and from the proper location. No, we don't. Okay. Forwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. McLeod, 66. Buona Sera, Bellos, Pasquale, the Penguinos in here? Man, I thought it was a party before. It's really popping now. Forwards in the system. Uh, Darlene greater than you, Levy? Oh, come on, Jay Birdie. Now you're just playing games with us. I hope that, yeah, hopefully the Sabres will sign Cahoon as well. Cahoon needs to be signed. Bishop, we're going to go ahead and call up. And O'Brien, we're going to call up. And then we're going to send down McLeod and Galan. Okay, that's a start. Anybody else in the system who we need to call up? <laughs> One, two, three, Baudet. Jean-Christophe Baudet doesn't count, doesn't count. Alex Gallon. Okay, so 67 is pretty much it. If we call up anyone, it'll be 67. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Perfect. That took a little bit of head breaking, but now we got this figured out. Best lines it. Okay. Cahoon and Drysdale are friends and they play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cahoon is German, no? Okay, so how do we want these lines to look? Do we want McKinnon to be a second line center or stacked on the first line? I think I'd prefer him to be a second line center. Um, I think I'd prefer Bowers at center here. McEwen, it's all about the face-offs. 70 face-offs. 75 face-offs. These guys aren't really centermen. That's what kills me. Shirelli greater than Colin? Yeah, I, I can get on board for that. Highmore, Malone, Bowers 74, Malone 75, Highmore 70, okay. Bowers goes, oh, but he's only a center, he's not supposed to be there. Okay, so Highmore goes there. Clark Bishop 76 face offs, okay. Right wing, okay, good. Who do you guys who do you guys vote for the franchise mode and why is Minnesota the right answer? Minnesota's leading by quite a bit. So it's looking more and more like it's gonna be the Minnesota Wild. Can we put Ross Johnston, an enforcer, in the top six? I don't know if I can justify that. Not sure if I can justify that. Maybe putting Highmore here is better. It's on the community tab. On go to the YouTube channel and go to the community tab. You'll be able to find it there. Playmaker two-way. Because Marshall shouldn't be a two-way. That's why. That's what kills us. Mm. Two-way, playmaker, two-way. Yeah. Okay, we'll just go with something like this. We'll find chemistry after. Graves and Myers. Uh, McIsaac and Dobson. Green and Barron. I guess something like that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Johnson on the fourth line. Maybe bring up Logan Shaw. Right. Maybe McEwen down here as well. There we go. Plus one. With the grinder enforcer two way. We change these guys around. Okay, okay. So here's how it's looking so far. Now it's time to find a better coach. And once we find a better coach, we will be able to try and find some semblance of chemistry. Okay.
head coach, Fast, Fast, Abel Fast. He has a 62% team fit. That's not going to cut it around here. Abel, you're gone. Strimbu, we're going to go ahead and fire Strimbu. Rory Strimbu. Make him the goalie coach just for a second. Vinny Damsuch or Vincent Le Cavalier? Uh, pff, that's tough. I don't know much about Vincent Damfus. Like, well, I know about him, but I, don't, I know a decent amount about him, but I wasn't able to watch him, but I saw a lot of Le Cavalier. So that's tough. I couldn't give you a really informed opinion about that. Kirk Yoshida, 60%. Not going to cut it. Damour. Uh, Vincent Damour, 61. Not going to cut it either. Okay, so let's move these things around. The A-rated guy. The B-minus guy goes to goalie coach. This guy goes to assistant coach. This guy goes to associate coach. But interim head coach. Now let's go hire a better coach. Arizona shamed the NHL. Pretty true. I didn't, yeah, I didn't see much Damfus. I didn't see... I don't think I... Well, like I was I was alive for Damfus, but then I watched Damfus. That's a different story. Yeah, Vinny. Vinny was big. Okay, NHL assistant coaches. Anything higher than 60% will have me interested. Any, anything higher than 61, that is. Aiden Richardson, 64. Okay, that's good. Ooh, okay. Reginald Keatley. I like that name. This guy looks like an English butler. Nice. Reginald Keatley. Interesting. 65% from Reginald. Oh, Gilbert. Gilbert Marchand. He doesn't like Crosby, but we could also... We could always switch Cros... Excuse me. We could also... We could switch Crosby and McKinnon in the lineup. He doesn't like Baron either. Hmm. Gilbert, March Gilbert Marchand. I'd prefer someone who likes our top players more, though. Uh, Sylvain Brouillette. A lot of crazy French names in the coaches, I always find. This guy's pretty balanced. Uh, Quinn Ka Ooh, this is nice. Quinn Kachuk. This is a nice 65%. Doesn't like Marsha as much, but I can swallow that. Quinn Kachuk, I think, is the leading option at the moment. Uh, Fabian Lewis. Nice hair. Oh, yeah. Arizona's in shambles right now. Gretzky was second overall? Uh, I don't think he was. He wasn't... Uh, you're talking about the NHL draft or the WHA draft? Because he was not drafted in the NHL. He was undrafted. Per Timander. He... Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Yeah. Per. I think Per is going to be the guy. And that's a rare... I don't see that ge generated face very often. No, he was not drafted in, in the NHL. So, got you there. False. Yeah, that 67 is probably our man. All right, there we go. Per, welcome to the job, buddy. Per, 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 where'd you go? Where'd you go? Tim, and there he is. He is C minus rated. Uh, tough stats, to be honest, but it's all about the team fit. So, NHL head coach. No, Gretzky wasn't drafted second. Now I gotta look this up. Gretzky DB. No, he wasn't. I was right, Jay Birdie. Don't try and pull a fast one on us. We're too smart in this chat. All right, now we can start simulating just through the preseason a little bit. Then we'll set the captains, get the chemistry going. Hey, there he is. Thank you for the generous financial compensation. You're welcome, Per. My pleasure. How do the lines look now? Okay, plus ones in the top nine. I like it. And on defense, all plus ones. All right, all right. It's pretty good. Can I get any plus threes up here on the top pair? We can go plus three on the second unit. Is this worth it? Would, should we go plus one, plus one, plus one? Or should we move Graves and McIsaac around? McIsaac can get a lot of ice time, which might be good or bad. And it keeps the plus one for Myers, but it gives a plus three to Graves and Dobson. So instead of them being 83, 81, they're 85, 83. No, Wayne Gretzky was not drafted, my friend. He was drafted in WHA, and then he was, then he went to the Edmonton Oilers. Nope. Crazy, eh? Hard to believe. What do you guys think? McIsaac and Graves, should we go for the plus ones across the board, or plus one, plus three? Tough decision. 
Plus ones across the board says tic tac. I, you know, I, I'm tempted. That plus three is tempting, but I'm, I'm, I think it would make more sense to go plus ones across the board. Danky A says try him on the first, and then if it doesn't work, you go, yeah, that's true. We could also always switch it up. Gretzky couldn't lift the puck off the ice. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you know, just let's go for the preseason. Let's do it for the preseason and see what happens. Wouldn't hurt to do it for the preseason. Uh, yeah. Can we get plus three on the first line anyway, anyhow? Doesn't look like it. Mm, no, doesn't look like it. What if we switch Crosby? No, don't think so either. Gretzky, well, he went undrafted. He couldn't even get slammed. Yeah, come on. Gretzky, the guy. He's barely... He was lucky he even found a roster spot. We get a plus three on the second line. Doesn't look like any plus three is going to work here. Nope, we can go plus ones. Nah, it's not worth it. No, we'll just keep plus ones on forwards. Okay, special teams. McKinnon, Crosby, Marsha with Myers and Dobson. No, we'll go with... Oh, Dobson doesn't fit it. That's not good. Buffalo drafted Gilbert Perrault first overall in 1970. Yeah, I think that's true. I'm going to say true on that one. I think so. A lot of these guys don't fit the power play, huh? Okay, Highmore's not going to fit. Is a franchise mode series a custom team? No, it's... Uh, well, yeah, I guess technically it is a custom team. We're doing all provincial... Uh, all the provinces of Canada at the moment. So we did the, uh, players all born in Quebec, players all born in Alberta. Now we're doing only players born in the Atlantic provinces. And see which... And we're, then at the end, eventually, we'll put them all together. And we'll see which province reigns supreme. So Highmore can't go. Luke Green is a two-way guy with good offensive awareness, no? Mm. No, 73 offensive awareness. Forget that. Dobson doesn't fit. Man, it's really hard to get anything more than a plus one. This is killer. Okay, Shane Bowers needs to leave. He doesn't fit. Does McIsaac fit? Uh, he fits more, that's for sure. Dobson and McIsaac? No, but Dobson and Myers on the first unit. McIsaac and Green at the point here. Klorn there. Maybe Klorn should go on the first unit and try to spread the wealth a little bit. Do we split up McKinnon, Crosby, Marsha on the first power play, or do we just overpower that first unit? What are your thoughts on that? That's good. There we go. Let me know your thoughts. We'll get back to it. Mm. Yeah, Michael was a fan, one of the best second overall picks of all time, for sure. Bishop here fixes that. Okay. Dynamite line. I like it. Lose the first overall pick to Edmonton or trade McKinnon for Ocpozo? I'd rather lose the first overall pick to Edmonton. Penalty kill now. Graves and Myers are both great. Uh, Dobson fits, okay, thank goodness. Does McIsaac fit? Or maybe does Baron fit? No. Um, gives it a plus one, okay. It's promising. Definitely gotta put Crosby out there. Does McKinnon fit? 
Even if he doesn't, I'm putting him out there. Fantastic. Crosby Marsha with Graves and Dobson plus one. And then McKinnon Highmore with McIsaac and Myers. How's Highmore's defense here? 80s. Yeah, that's three star defense is pretty good. Let's see on the sort by defense here. Crosby, McKinnon, Marshall, yeah. Dobson, Myers, Graves are all out there. Actually, yeah, we should probably put Kalorn. What am I thinking? Alex Kalorn for sure. Yeah, he's way better. <laughs> yeah, so these, these NHLers are going to be getting a lot of ice time. I hope they're ready. Edmonton has had a lot of luck. Yeah, once again. Crosby gives it a negative three. Uh, I think I'd rather take a negative three with Crosby than a plus three with a 70 overall. Who's better at winning, Red Wings or Buffalo? All time? Wings for sure. Chemistry's probably whack because the center is here. Ryan Graves is listed as a center here. Highmore is listed as a left D here. That's, that's garbage. Hopefully the patch will fix all this. Whatever, I think we'll just leave it. Extras, whatever. Extra attacker, yeah. Shootout, good. Goalies, Jake Allen, backed up by Colton Ellis. A third round pick of St. Louis in 2019. Healthy scratches are Jordan Pence on defense. Uh, Liam O'Brien on uh, forward. And I think we're good to go. All right, is everyone content with these lines? Well, actually, it's, it's still the preseason. So once I go through the preseason, I can ask if everyone's content with the lines. Especially that first unit uh, defense where we're going to have uh, Jared McIsaac on the first pair. All right, this team is not very good. Sidney Crosby, 4.9 in our first game. We beat the Canadians. We're 2-1-0 one, one oh through our first three games of the preseason. Okay. Lost to the Bruins. There's still some hope out there. Lightning, we lose 6-4. to four. Okay, I'm going to take a little pause here. Let's see how McIsaac was doing. Then we'll switch it up. Let's see here. McIsaac, 5 games, negative 1. Then negative 2. Graves. Yeah, you know what? We'll switch it back to the plus 1s. Jake Allen, not even playing that well. Yeah, it's not going to go well. I don't think the season's going to go very well, my friends. Maybe if this is a really short stream, we can always go to uh, play some hut later. <laughs> I haven't done... I'm yet to do any hut. Any games on hut, that is. I've only opened packs. There's still a way to... There's still a way to score many goals... There's still way too many goals scored in the simulations. Yeah, we could try and move now nah, if we if we put this this the shot or the scoring engine up We're just gonna get scored on more. It's not gonna help us Let's play among us. Well, that would be different I have to because on the PlayStation is what I'm streaming on I wouldn't be able to stream it would just be if we played among us it would just be playing like that So Sidney Crosby 16 points in seven games. He's gonna be our savior Marshall Kalorn, McKinnon, no surprises there. Dobson, Logan Shaw. Whoa, McKinnon, negative 10, by the way. Don't like that. The second, I'm going to tweak the second line, I think. Uh, okay, there it is. Goalies, Jake Allen. Nah, both goalies look decent. Not bad at all. I just got to fix that second line. Then we'll fix the captains, and then we'll kick off this season. Second line, was it Highmore and Sh Yeah, Highmore and Shaw. Negative 7, negative 10, negative 8. Negative 8, 3 assists. Negative 7, 2 assists. Mm. 2 goals, 2 goals, 1 goal. Third line played well. Who can be swapped around? Shaw can be switched with... Mm. Who's better at what? Marchant licking or Kessler for embellishing? Ryan Kessler? Nah. Ryan Kessler is a good guy. <laughs> Bowers is a 70, he has 74 face-offs. Could put Malone at center, Highmore on the wing here. Yeah, let's try that. I really like Shane Bowers up in the top six. I know he's listed as a center, but 
Let's try him with uh, McKinnon and Shaw. Some Colorado connection here between Bowers and McKinnon. By the way, the game has it that he's uh, that Shane Bowers was drafted by the Colorado Avalanche. Not true. Drafted by the Ottawa Senators. So that's a strike on you, EA. Strike on you. Okay. Showtime in Fredericton. Let's do it. At the stream, at home, up against the Chicago Blackhawks. Let's make sure that Sidney Crosby is our captain. There he is. Alternates McKinnon. I don't know if Marshawn deserves the A. I don't like the licks. You know what, Marsha? No A for you. I'm giving the other A to Alex Kalorn. There you go. Sorry, Brad. He's an odd rat for sure. Mm. There you go, Wes. That's why he lost the A. Okay. Game one of the season. I don't know how well they're going to do, but let's see if they can do better than Alberta. This is quite the underdog team, to say the least. Fredericton up against Chicago at home. Here we go. First period, 2 nothing. Okay. Power play goal from McKinnon, and then Sidney Crosby, even strength, both on Malcolm Subban. Two goals on six shots, and we're ready to go. Second period, okay. 2 nothing. We're being outshot 25-13. to but we're up two to nothing with a 74 rated team. I will take that. Power play killed off there. Yeah, I'm with you, Wes. I'm with you. There's a lot of oh, Marshawn. There he is. There's a lot of players that I don't like but can still respect. I don't really have that for Marshawn. I res like a guy like Zdeno Chara. Not a big fan of him, but respects respect him very much. And hey, look at that! In game number one, we shut out the Blackhawks four to nothing. Luke Green adds the last goal, and it's a 32-save shutout from Jake Allen. How do you like that? One goal, two assists for Marsha, goal and assist for Sidney Crosby. Bang. Maybe this team has some hope. Who knows? Let's get some simulation done. Let's see what happens with uh, a bit of a larger sample size. Up against the Leafs, the Bruins, the Flyers, a little Eastern Conference swing here, divisional matchups. Uh, and already, Matthew Highmore injured with a fractured jaw. That's nice. Already. So we'll go ahead and put, uh, what's his name? The guy who scratched. Uh, O'Brien. O'Brien. Shout out to Chief O'Brien of Star Trek. The, the various Star Trek series. And he's back. Actually, I gotta, I gotta change it so that it comes back fully healed. True or false, there is a team called the St. Louis Eagles? Uh, in the NHL? Don't think so. High more. Yeah, I gotta change that to only tell me when they're fully healed. 6-1 loss, yikes. 4 nothing win followed by a 4-1 loss and a 6-1 loss. Hate to see it. Let's go change that in the settings. Oh, this won't be rules, it'll be gameplay, right? Uh, no, it'll be here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Fully healed. Fully healed. That's what we want to see. Oh, that is true. Okay. Oh, tough start to the season here. Let's go see, you know what? Let's go see the Flyers. It'll make Wes happy. Let's see what we can do. Up against Philadelphia. First period, 3-2. Poof, okay. Scott Lawton and Sean Couturier score, but Nathan McKinnon, Brad Marsh on the power play, and Logan Shaw get three goals on seven shots past Carter Hart. Five goals scored on 13 shots in total. Pff, okay. Second period, no scoring. Shots are 19-13 for the Flyers. 3-2 game. Wes's boys got to pick it up here. Jake Allen, ah, power play, killed off. Okay. Okay, power play for the Salmon. Long power play for the Salmon. Killed off, though. Pretty much doubling the shots here. 33-18. to 18. Can we stand up late? No, Ivan Provorov with a minute and eight seconds left. Oh, you hate to see that. Ah, 3-3 three, three into overtime. Shots were 36-20 heading into it. And in a shootout, the Flyers win. JVR gets the winner. Wow, shots were 38 to 21, but we held our own. We definitely held our own. The Salmon swam up against the current, and we lost in the shootout. Did our best. There's a team in the NHL called the Philadelphia Quakers. 
Uh, in the NHL? Mm, I don't know about that. Don't think so. Hasek legend. Love the Dominator. Oh, yeah, is Teddy throwing dimes on Thursday Night Football? Teddy. 6 1 loss. Ooh, boy. 2 0 loss. Okay. <laughs> after that, after that um, franchise opener and 4 0 win, we have gone downhill. And the sad part is we can't really make any changes. We can make lineup changes, but we can't do that much else. Oh, yeah. In the NHL, Philadelphia Quakers. Most of my knowledge pre-1967 outside of the, the, the original six is like uh, the Montreal Maroons and the, 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 the Wanderers and the St. Pats and teams like that. One, eight, and one, nine, and two. Yeah, this is not going to be a very long uh, stream. Well, at least the franchise mode part. <laughs> uh, there's a 2-1 win. Okay, there we go. Win number two. Uh, Clark Bishop strained hamstring. Played one season? Okay, I got you. Where's the scratch? Here he is. O'Brien. Negative 12, negative 12, negative 16, negative 13, negative 5, negative 6. Uh, let's try and give some more ice time to the guys who are playing well, I guess. Green, get up there. Myers and Dobson. All right. There's the change. Luke Green up to the top unit. Negative four, negative three, negative five, negative nine. Negative 14 for McKinnon. Come on, Nate. Negative 14, negative 12, negative 12, negative 14, negative nine. Negative four, negative five. Let's put Smallman. Spencer Smallman. Rasmus Ristolainen has gotten suspended. Mm, don't think so. Don't recall. Okay, 3-2 win, 3-2 shootout win. Okay. 6-3 loss, 5-4 loss, yeah. Clark Bishop is back. Tomorrow at 6 Eastern. Mm, depends how long you're streaming. That's probably smack dab in the middle of supper time. But I will. if you're, if you're going long enough, I would love to hop in, Boomba. 5-4 loss. 4, 12, and 2 is the record. 5, 4 loss. Yeah, let's just get through this season. And we can log it in the books. How did the, the, the Atlantic provinces do? And then, you know, when it comes to the full tournament, I don't see... Oh, a one nothing win. Two of our five wins have come on shutouts. I don't see the Atla the Salmon putting up much of a fight when it comes to the, the, Atla the, the, the cross-Canadian challenge that we do. At the end of this series between all the Canadian province teams. Spence is going to come onto the team now. Ooh, plus three. Could put him up. Ooh, okay. Spence gives it a plus five up here. You know what? Jordan Spence, get in there and stay in there. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I'm down, Jay Birdie. Me, Jay Birdie, Corey. Walter can play a little bit. Why not? Why not? Four nothing loss. Yikes. Philip Myers is fully healed. He's not going to get his spot back on the first unit, though. I'm going to go Spence here. Who's going to come out? One goal, four assists, negative 18. One goal, five assists, negative seven. One goal, negative 20. Jared McIsaac, goodbye. Philip Myers, there we go. He's going to play up here with Dobson. And Green can play with Barron. How's the McKinnon here? Is he still a negative whatever? Negative 18? Uh, who can give the first line a plus one? Mm, Malone. Okay, Malone to the first line. Kalorn to the second line. No one gives. Oh, no one gives it a plus one though. Angel started in nineteen seventeen. That's ah. Uh, that's true. That's true. Because the, the Canadian started before the NHL started. Man, this is really killing me. Okay, what if we go Marshall, second line, Highmore? Just trying to find whatever, but I know it's not really going to do much.
What are these guys doing down here? 36 pound minutes. Ross Johnston. Just bodying people. Alright, let's try Crosby, Kalorn, uh, Malone on the first line. Why not? McKinney's got a uh, little boost here. Unless we just... No, we can't because McKinnon can't go on the first line. Can he? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let's keep on simulating. 6-3 loss, 5-3 loss. There was a team in the NHL called the Seattle Metropol Metropolitans? Uh, I don't think so. What is there? In the NHL? I keep getting mixed up by the NHL and the WHA and the WHL. Which leagues had... Were they merged? Were they not merged? Alright. Oh yeah, then you're, you're right. You're right. Mark Mazenov's in here? Woo boy. We are spoiled. 4-2 win against the Canadians, followed by a 3-1 loss. Uh, injured shoulder for Spence. You hate to see it. How's he been doing with the plus 5 on that first unit? Nine games, negative ten. Nice, 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 nice. Charging your phone, no problem. Put Green back up there. And put McIsaac at the bottom. There we go. How's Graves doing these days? Six assists, negative 34. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Goalies. Nice, 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 nice. Love to see it. 6, 23, and 2 now with McKinnon and Crosby. 2 nothing loss, 4-3 shootout loss. Yeah, let's just get to the end of this one. <laughs> the experiment's already pretty much over. The Atlantic provinces do not make for a very good team. put him on the second unit now since he did not that great <laughs> the prediction is not working west what was your prediction again for this one yeah not a very good team, good team. next week we'll either do british columbia or saskatchewan or ontario ontario has a ton of players available for sure three two win four three loss the wins are coming more frequently than they were before. Oh, yeah, that's true. He said top 10 in the league. <laughs> well, I'll be very surprised if we don't finish dead last. 5 nothing loss, 3 nothing loss. Hate to see it. Luke Green, back spasms. That's not good. How's everybody doing here? Negative 39, negative 23, negative 23, negative 14. Ay, ay, ay. You wish to include one alumni for every team and make things interesting. Yeah, it wouldn't be the bad a bad idea. Now it's a bit too late, unfortunately. Ontario, yeah, Kyle Wood is one thousand percent making the team. On uh, when we do Ontario, no question. Trevor Lawrence got COVID. Who's Trevor Lawrence again? Ring a bell. Do we have another guy injured? Oh, we have two defensemen injured. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not going to bother calling anybody up. The forward can slot in. <laughs> but my friends, I am telling you, tomorrow 3... Oh, and we win 6-5. to five. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern, it's going to be one of my best uploads yet. It's a good one. I'm very excited for you all to see it. Three-game win streak? What in the world? Don't touch the lines. 6-5 shootout win, 3-2 win... 4-1 loss, okay. Oh, the greatest QB call. Oh, is he's the QB for uh, for Clemson, is it? Uh, head coach replaced for our best lines. That's true. Oh, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I just saw something about... I was just watching... He was like 31-1 or something. I was just watching highlights of him yesterday. Not gonna touch the Oh no, I pressed best oh, I pressed best lines. Oh yeah, now we know. Now we know, Mark. 
Ari Richard. Well, to be honest, best. Uh, you know what? Forget it. Keep the keep it best lines. Let's just get through the season. Is the video a be a pro? No, it's not any. It's not be a pro. It's not franchise. It's nothing. It's something totally new. It's not a series. It's like a one-off video. Four two win. Okay, it seems like best lines is helping, so might as well keep doing best lines. Best lines. I wrote a Zamboni. I said, oh yeah, that's fun. Your favorite is Larry Robinson or Bob Gainey? Mmm. Larry Robinson, man. What an absolute legend. Bob Gainey as well. Underrated. Larry Robinson is more recognized as being a legend, but Bob Gainey is super underrated. It's going to be good, Wes. It's, it's, I don't want to give anything away. It's like, it, I, I believe it's 16 minutes. I know, I know for sure that the thumbnail is one of my best. I'm very proud of the thumbnail. But I think the video is going to be a. Uh, I think the video is going to resonate with a lot of people. In the '60s or the '50s, there was a charity game at the new arena in my hometown, and none other than Morris Richard was contacted to ref the game. Really? Poof. And did he show up? <laughs> 3-2 win against the Devils. Back-to-back -back dubs? No, 6-4 loss. Best lines it. Do you guys want to see the uh, trade deadline, or do we just go through it? Do you want to see who's available and stuff like that? You know what? Let's do it. Enter trade deadline, just to see who's available, just for fun. And he showed up? Oh, that's awesome. Flurry, Jarmelson, Mantha, Stahl. All the, a lot of the usual suspects. I want to see what people's trade values are. How are, I want to see if there's any crazy trade values. The trade deadline is insane. It's notorious for crazy trade values. Look at Shattenkirk. Look at that trade value. What else? Clayton Keller. No, that's normal. That's normal. Uh, these are normal. These are normal. That's normal. I want to see something crazy. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's a trade that just happened. Alex Nylander, I guess that's pretty normal. Mm, normal. Nick, okay, here is a good one. Nick Felino. 19 goals and 33 assists. Way overperforming. 52 points in 61 games. Huge overperformance. One year, 5.5 million. Ton of trade value. You know what? This one makes sense. Unexpiring deal. 82 overall player. That makes sense for him to have more trade value. Guys like 70 overalls who are getting traded for blue chip prospects. Those don't make sense. Radic Faxa, that's too much trade value. Uh, who else can we see? It's true. Is Anton Lundell actually on the Panthers? Did he get drafted there? Yeah, he did. Anton Lundell. That's going to be nice for, the, for Florida. Wenberg, too much value. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Martin Furk, that's way too much value for Martin Furk. He only has 5 goals and 17 assists. 22 points from a medium top 9, 78 overall. Look at how much trade value that is. Come on. That's crazy. Who else we got? Minnesota, gotta get used to Minnesota. Sabres Royal Blue, I like it. There's the other Noah Dobson. All right, we'll call it there. Just wanted to look at a few teams. All right, we'll go ahead and exit this. I'm not gonna sit here for 20 minutes and watch the deadline go through. What goes on on Hut? Like, if I do some Hut later on, what goes on on Hut? Is it Hut Rush or is it just straight up games? I haven't played Hut in years. I don't know what's changed about it. Mm, 
Tarot. 1440. Let me hear those predictions, everybody. What's our final record going to be? We're currently 15, 45, and 7. This team is yikes for, for sure. Online play nows? Okay. 15, 46, and 7. 50 lo less than 20 wins, says Danky A. 50 losses, says Mark. I have an authentic Jack Eichel 50th anniversary Sabres jersey, and I kid you not, my only Christmas Yeah, I, oh, I don't doubt it. Those are expensive, my friend. Very expensive. Hut Rush is sort of fun. Okay. Yeah, we're already at 50 losses here, Mark. I wouldn't be, we might hit, hit 60. Yeah, I, no, I'm not interested in Hut at all. I'm down to play it a little bit for some content here on the stream. For some entertainment purposes. But in my free time, I'm not using it on Hut. Man, are we going to hit 60 losses? No, I don't think so. Most we can hit is 59. 4-1 loss, 4-3 shootout loss, 3-2 shootout loss. All right, we're 16, 56, and 9. Last game of the year here against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Here we go. First period, 3-1 Jackets. Raya Johnston scores for us, the fourth line enforcer. All right. That jersey could be worth a thousands later. I don't know. That, it's What's special about it, though? If it was, like, game-worn... Maybe I don't know. Like I don't. I'm not. I don't know about the market of jerseys. Three three after the second four three. All right. So we tied it back up. Rensky gave them the lead. We're down four to three. Oh no, we were way below that prediction. Jay Birdie, Boone Jenner, shorthanded goal. Yeah, yeah, I don't like ultimate team of any sports games. I'm with you. Brad Marchand scores late. We could hop in and watch the end of this one. We're being outshot forty eight to twenty. My goodness. Jake Allen. He did well this season. Got to give it to Jake Allen. Let's watch a little bit of action here. Let's see it. Sid the Kid. That C on his jersey. Let's watch a little action. Just the last couple minutes. See if we can tie this game. End the season with a little bit of a smile on our faces. Oh, they only made five. Okay, that's a different story. If they only made 5,000 of them. That is a different story. Things that are never. I'm, I'm, I'm big into hockey cards. Not re recently. Like, uh, not well, I'm, I'm still into them, but I haven't actually gotten high end hockey cards in years. But I know a lot about the numbering and the odds and whatever of hockey cards, but not of jerseys and the valuable, the value of a shortlisted uh, model. Here's Riley Nash, friend of Rick Nash, perhaps. Oh yeah, I got lots of hockey cards, Mark. I wouldn't. Uh, I guess I, w I wouldn't say boxes. I definitely have multiple albums. 97 rookie jump. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we want to hear. My collection mostly spans from the m mid 2000s, so like 2006, I want to say, maybe 2004, even a bit earlier from Syria. At the very earliest, probably like the early 2000s, like 2002, 2003, but more like 2006 to 2012-ish, I want to say, is my collection. Kyle Wood Auto, I wish. All right, last attack. Captain Sid Crosby to the point. Graves, Kalorn, McKinnon as the extra attacker. Oh, just misses the net. Crosby, broken up. Marsha stopped by Merz Lincolns. Out to Wierenski. Is he going to get it out? Atkinson, yes, to get it out. Pierre-Luc Dubois, Bjorkstrand, and he'll ice it. Trade to Wayne Gretzky. This over was a good one, Gretzky. I have handled a Wayne Gretzky rookie card, actually. A friend of the family, of my family, gave us a big box of cards, which included a Wayne Gretzky rookie card. We gave it back to him, because he definitely didn't know what he was doing. Well not, well, not that he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know that that card was in there. So we gave it back to him. He ended up selling it. But it was nice to see in the flesh. All right. Last game here in New Brunswick before they close down the arena. 20 seconds to go. 
Seth Jones. Stopped by Jake Allen. Let's hop in. Why not? Let's see if we can get anything going for a couple seconds. Settings. Select signs. Rookie Jack Eichel and rookie Connor McDavid. What kind of rookie? Talking young guns? Shaw should never be at the face-off. He has 60 face-offs. Blocked by Bowers. Come on. I'm playing on All-Star with this garbage team. Shaw. Oh, here he comes. Come on, Shaw. Cross crease. No. Just wanted the cross crease. Big hit. Big hit again. There we go. Ended off with a couple of big hits. Take that guy's life out of him. No problem. All right. So we end off. Oh, it's a hat trick for Marshawn as well. Big hat trick. Shots were 52 to 21. Five goals on 51 shots against Jake Allen. He didn't do too bad. I gotta give it to him this season. He helped us from getting decimated every single game. Somehow we got 16 wins with a couple shutouts sprinkled in. And that is it. Probably the worst of all the province of this provincial series. 16, 57, and 9. Let's yeah, Greg Ranko greater than Yakupov. Let's check out the stats. 86 points for Brad Marshall, really? I'm very surprised. Well done. Brad Marshoff, 86 points. Crosby, 78 with a negative 51. Okay, who is the worst plus minus? Let's see. Nice. Ryan Graves, negative 68. I've never seen that kind of number. Negative 68 for Ryan Graves. Congrats. McKinnon, 74. Kaloran, 42. Shaw, 28. Yeah, it really falls off after these guys. My goodness, look at these negatives. Oof. Shocking numbers. Wow. Goalies. Jake Allen, 12, 41, and 7. Two shutouts and a 907 save percentage. Not bad. 3.79 goals against average. Uh, Colton Ellis for a 66 overall, 416 and 2. Not bad. 891 save percentage, 4.49 goals against average. Hey, what are you going to do? 40 power play points for Marsha, by the way. Wow. 40 power play points. Pfft, what? That's crazy. How highly ranked was our power play? Let's see. How bad? Were there any teams that were even close to being as bad as us? Yeah, not bad at all. For That's very decent for Jake Allen. Uh, Nashville? No, not even close. 20 points away. So our power play... We only scored 2.23 goals for per game. Power play, 24 point f Somehow, the absolute... Not even the worst team in the league. The worst team of the last, like, 20 years had the second best power play in the NHL. That's wild. That's really crazy. That's a wild, like, trivia fact right there. Pfft, what in the world? 80.9% on penalty kill. Uh, not even the worst in the NHL right there. That's crazy. Second best power play in the NHL. All because of that front-loaded first unit, I suppose. Any other player stats that you guys would like to see? Before we call it a day on this franchise mode in particular. Any specific stats? Just to get an idea of how these simulated stats are looking. True or false, Guy Lafleur was drafted by Montreal. Uh, if he was drafted, then yes. Because he played... Oh, uh, wait, no. He played on the Rangers later in his career. Did he start on the Nordiques, though? Uh, yeah, isn't that, didn't he start on, or no, uh, I'm ashamed of myself for not being able to remember this. Carter Hart, of course, Wes, of course. Carter Hart, 32, 23, and 4, 6 shutouts, 9, 10 save percentage, 2.7 goals against average. Not bad at all, but definitely not the best numbers that I've seen from Carter Hart in a simulation. I don't know why Elliot was playing so much. I'm going to say false, I think, Jay Birdie. I think there's something in your voice that I can't hear. You're hiding something. Entire league. Mc that, that McKinnon goes off. Eichel and Price, you got it. Uh, Eichel's probably up here somewhere. Uh, there he is. 77 points in 82 games. Nothing crazy. False. He was drafted by the North Stars, but the Nordiques got his rights, so technically it was a... Okay. So I was kind of right. 
Interesting. That's a fun fact, Jay Birdie. I appreciate that. That's probably your best one. Uh, Carey Price. Where are we? Carey Price. Canadian Montreal. Thomas Tatar, 63 points. Hey, to Foley, 54. Why not? Carey Price, 32, 32, and 4. Bad record, good numbers. 914 save percentage and a, a 2.68 goals against average. I don't know how this Jake Allen does so badly with a real NHL team in front of him. And our Jake Allen goes off with, like, the dregs in front of us. Yeah, we all know what happened there. Any la last call for any stats before we head into some huts? Well, actually, we'll check the awards as well. Defense scoring, John Carlson. All goalies in the NHL. Marks from Jumbo Joe and Darlene. <laughs> of course. Actually, I can check defense right here. Defense. Darlene, 62 points. Very nice. 62 points in 82 games. That is very nice. And then Jumbo Joe. Let's see how he does over on the Toronto Maple Leafs. He got 57 points. Poof. 10 goals and 47 assists. Negative 8. Still an 82 overall. Poof. Jumbo still has it in him. Very nice. All right. We'll sim the draft just to check who wins the cup and see the awards and all that good stuff. Then we'll do some hot. Play a couple games. Oh, Brad Marchand. 86 points. I don't know how he did it. Is that power play? True, eh? Darlene almost matched Eichel. He had like 15. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I was about to make a prediction. I thought, I think the Leafs are going to win. They had a great team. Uh, Darlene had 16 less points than uh, than Eichel. Yeah, Maple Leafs. Of course, Maple Leafs. The only place they can win is in the simulation, unfortunately. Dallas, no, no surprises there. Dallas won the President's Trophy and went to the Stanley Cup Finals. And I'm sure that the Art Ross, the Hart, the Vezina, the Ted Lindsay, the Lady Bing, they're all going to, to Dallas players, particularly Tyler Sagan. Oh, yeah, that's true. Art Ross went to McKinnon. Someone did the mission goal in Finland? Yes, that's true. Or is it Sweden? I don't know. Uh, no, okay. It was, it's, more, it's more differentiated. Morgan Riley wins the Con Smythe. Markstrom wins the Jennings and the Vesna. Nice. Oh wow! Philip Philippe Myers wins the Bill Masterton Trophy. It's always totally random, but our first ever player to win an award in uh, one of these franchise modes. Not bad. Jack Adams, O'Reilly. All right. So Nathan, Mc the other Nathan McKinnon, cleaned house. He took away all the love that Tyler Sagan wanted. All right, so we're going to go ahead and press exit without saving. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. It didn't work out. Be sure to join us on the stream next week when we'll do a different province. And if you're not already in the Discord server, link in the description to make sure that you are in there so we can discuss the... Uh, the, 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 the I can't speak. We can debate and discuss which ones would be best to do and which players you want to see. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.